My name is Kevin James Leonard, and I'm an illustrator. I believe in the resilience of humans. I believe that there is nothing insurmountable for humans as long as we have the determination to never give up on our goals. I have always believed that the ability to illustrate is the ability to imagine and create anything. And through illustration, anything is possible. However, being able to imagine and being able to create are two completely separate things. I didn't always have the strength to believe in my abilities as an artist, but two people my grandpa and my sister personally taught me to never give up on myself. My sister Jessica is five years older than me and is someone I've always looked up to. She introduced me to the art world and helped me find my determination to follow my path to become an artist. I remember sitting in my high school art class in ninth grade trying to emulate her artistic style with a woodcut print. I envied her. I looked forward to the life she was living and when I had finally decided in my third year of high school to follow her footsteps, I found out that she was dropping out of art school. What it seemed to me at the time was that she was giving up on her dream. I felt betrayed. After three years, she quit, and that was that. Now, my grandfather, Dutch Deluji, was a proud American war veteran that stood at six foot three at the age of 75. He was tough and a dedicated family man, and whatever he said to the family generally became rule. I learned a lot from him as a kid, though I wasn't aware of it at the time. He was a very wise man, and I'm sad that I didn't recognize it until on his deathbed when he taught me the most important lesson of my life to never give up. My grandfather had his first heart attack at the age of 48, then his second at the age of 55, forced into an early retirement at age 56. He had several rough surgeries and had a pacemaker defibrillator installed in the following years, and at age 60, he wasn't expected to live much longer than a few years. Though throughout my entire childhood, he seemed invincible. He never showed any signs of illness. He never missed a day of tennis, even in his old age, right up until the day he could no longer physically play. He fought off this problem for the next 16 years until one afternoon I found him sitting in his bedroom alone, in a corner, staring at the floor, silent. He wouldn't respond to me, so I asked my grandma what had happened to him, and she told me that my grandfather had an incident in public, but I knew what that really meant. I'll never forget that devoid gaze that remained in his eyes until on his deathbed. He lost the will to live. The illness that he had easily fought off for the past quarter century took over in an instant. He passed away on March 22, 2005, at the age of 75, a short week before my 16th birthday. But life's about learning and looking for positives where you can. I learned from my family, and they helped me try to become the best person I can possibly be. My sister hasn't given up on art, even though she dropped out of art school. She recently started up her own jewelry company, and it seems to be taking off quite well. And I'll always remember my grandfather for his vitality and the moxie he expressed in life. And I will push forward with my art in the same way that my grandpa fought against his illness and overseas for his family. I've always known that anything is possible through illustration, but now at this stage in my life, I now know that nothing is impossible for those who have the will to fight for their dream.